Now, the current migrant crisis is clearly the worst the world has experienced since the end of World War II. And according to the International Organization for Migration, the problem is not with the numbers, but with the system. So it is a complex crisis, but certainly it's not the worst. In the past, we've been dealing with crises, and we also had to find solutions for this crisis. I think what here uh, is the, 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 the crux of the problem is that we do not foresee solutions. It's not so much a crisis of numbers, it's a crisis of the system. It's the asylum system, if you like, it's the migration management system if you like, that is being challenged, and not the migrants, the challenge. The challenge is our capacity to have a workable system. Indeed, there's a problem with the system, particularly what to do with the migrants when they finally arrive at their destination countries. The same challenge was faced back in 1988 by this Ethiopian Fitsum Alemu, an asylum seeker turned private attorney, after having fled his home country due to crisis. You know, that time when I left Ethiopia in 1988, uh, there was a war, um, and uh, there were a lot of uh, problems in the country. Uh, young men like me uh, were uh, forcefully conscripted to the army. I was afraid that you know, one day I'd either be forcefully conscripted or would have a uh, problem with the government and being arrested. So my motive was to leave the country by any means necessary. Nothing worthwhile fell on Fitzsimmons' lap. It was a pretty lengthy process. And I applied for a government scholarship. Uh, I won that and, uh, and uh, went to Hungary to study. I decided to apply for asylum here. I did get my asylum, but couldn't get a job. Uh, even though I had three degrees at that time, uh, for some employers, I was uh, overqualified. For some, I was less qualified. In any case, uh, you know, I couldn't find a job uh, uh, as a lawyer. Even though he couldn't find a job, Fitzum was determined to be an asset. I ended up uh, doing a lot of things. I used to uh, interpret, uh, translate in offices. Uh, I decided to work uh, as a parking attendant part-time. So uh, trying to cover my bills. It took him 15 years to fulfill his dream of becoming a lawyer but despite his challenges, he deems the results worth the wait. While the International Organization for Migration has some advice for how to deal with the migrant crisis. It is something that requires a much broader approach. There are 28 countries in the European Union. There are other countries that can lend their support, including the US, Canada and others. So it does require a comprehensive plan of action. Fitzsim has some advice for the migrants about what to expect when they are accepted into their destination countries. If uh, the person uh, who left the country has no skills, then it'd be difficult for him. Uh, but my, my advice for the individual is to uh, prepare for the worst, to be mentally strong and uh, to not be frustrated uh, because of the first or the two-year experience that you encounter. From Washington, D.C., Cynthia Are, Channels Television News.